Shapira from Breakthrough Physical Therapy, and he's Arvi. He's one of our students, and we're going to help demonstrate some of the exercises to work serratus anterior, lower trapezius, and hip. So a lot of times when people have impingement syndrome, what happens is that when they try to get their arm up, the rotator cuff muscles right here, they get pinched. Now what is required for the normal movement is that every time you raise your hand up, your scapula has to rotate upwards. Now when this motion does not take place, and all the motion keeps happening at your shoulder, you're kind of jamming that shoulder joint. So the muscles, serratus anterior, and the lower trapezius, and the upper trapezius, they form like a force couple, and they help to rotate your scapula upwards. So in some individuals in which that motion is not happening, all the time it constantly pinches your shoulder blade. So I'm going to show you some exercises that help work on serratus anterior and lower trapezius. So this is an exercise for the serratus anterior muscle. So what you're going to do, you're going to roll your hand all the way up. Make sure you're pulling your shoulder down and it kind of needs to be protracted a little bit. You have to make sure that the medial scapular border is kind of stabilized on here. And then as you come down, slowly, so don't let this come off. Try to maintain that shoulder blade and slowly come down. There you go. One more time. And you can make it tougher by adding a little piece of a TheraBand. Sorry, would you like to wear this? It's the same motion, but this time he's going to push out on the band and then he's going to roll. Come up here. Okay. So now you want to really push out on the band, keep it a little bit higher, and then you want to roll your shoulder all the way up. Make sure you get that upward scap rotation. Then, Nice and slow control. Get it down. Take these weights. You start right here. A lot of times people do punching motion in this movement, but that's not quite functional. You want to go all the way up. That's where the upward rotation of the scapula is maximum. And then you punch up in the air. Down and down. So that's like working serratus so anterior in a more functional pattern. Want to try that? So you start with your elbows here, you reach up overhead, so about like 120 degrees, and then from this point on, you push up. So you're really like through those through the center of your muscle, you disengage, nice slow control, come back to the position, and then slowly come down. You reach forward, and at this point, you really want to punch forward. Here, awesome. Let's build that serratus, disengage. So it's important to slowly deactivate it and you don't want to just plop down when you come back up. Again, one more time. Yeah. Reach as high as up you can. Down. It's pretty good. And then have one more exercise for getting that lower trap in. Because even that is a very important muscle to get that upward scap rotation. So what I want you to start with, you start with the W. You reach all the way up, make a Y, your arms are at a 45 degree angle, and then you reach back. You want to make sure you're not arching your back when you do that. So give it a shot. Okay, so your arms are in a W position, you slide your arms up, and they form a Y with your body, so at a 45 degree. You palpate the low trap, and gently lift those arms off the wall, engage the low trap, come back to the wall, when you release, you want to come nice, slow control down. So that's it. And what you can sometimes do to add all the three muscle groups together is you start here, you go up, so using your serratus, then you shrug up, so you're using your upper trap, and then back, so you're using your lower trap. So you can use all these three muscle groups in a combination to kind of facilitate that rotation. So give that a shot. Rotate your arms out a little bit. Then you shrug at the top, so you get that upper trap, and then you reach back. And then you reach that lower trap. Come back. So lots of time we tell people not to use the upper trap, 
But in this motion, upper trap, serratus, and lower trap, all these three muscles are really crucial to get that upward scapular rotation. So engaging the upper trap in this exercise is kind of important. So I think, hope you learned from it. Thank you, Harvey. How, how did the exercise feel? Good. Good. Awesome. I feel a lot better. Awesome. You're stronger already. Alrighty. Thank you.